Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to demonstrate three file transfer options available in the Fix Me ID application. First, let's start a new session, enter the client ID and click connect. As soon as you're in, run the remote desktop control operation from the expert toolbar. Note that file transfer is unavailable in the remote desktop view mode. Now let's take a look at the available file transfer options. If you want to transfer a file to your own machine, you can simply drag and drop it onto your desktop, like this. And vice versa, if you need some files to appear on the remote client's desktop, perform the same drag and drop operation. You can also copy and paste files to remote desktop, provided that you have the synchronized clipboard feature turned on in the toolbar settings. Locate the file you want to transfer, copy and paste it into a folder of your choice, and it's as simple as that. Besides that, you can transfer multiple files with the help of either drag and drop or copy and paste features. For example, you need to send this folder and this file to the remote desktop all at once. In order to do that, simply take both objects and drop them onto your desktop. You'll see the following progress bar where you can cancel the transfer if it was started by mistake. Furthermore, if you copy a shortcut from or to the remote desktop, FixMe IT will automatically transfer the file or files it's associated with. Apart from drag and drop and copy and paste, there's a third option that allows transferring files when the remote desktop control operation is not running. For that, you'll need to press the Send File button located in the Expert Toolbar, choose the file you want to send, and click Open. Right after that, the remote client will see the following window and with the option to save the receiving file. As soon as the transfer is complete, the client will get the link to the file they received. The remote client in turn can also send a file to the expert. When receiving something from the client, you'll see the same window prompting to either save file or decline, and then the progress bar with the option to cancel the file transfer. Note that you can only send one file with the help of the send file button. For bulk file transfers, use the copy and paste or drag and drop features. On the other hand, you can opt for send file to transfer files to multiple remote users simultaneously without the risk of accidentally dropping the operation by closing the remote desktop control window. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more demos and how-tos.